Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Well, about six hours after this Daily News Brief releases, we will have a transition of power, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will take the oaths of office for President and Vice President of the United States. As with every administration, we pray for solid guidance and wish them much success. This year, we offer up another prayer that this transition goes off without any violence in a city that right now is incredibly fortified and locked down. A little closer to home, thank heavens for a pair of really quick-thinking cops. On Monday night, the Anne Arundel County Police Department was dispatched to the Pasadena Walmart for an elderly man in distress in his car. They arrived, they tried to get his attention to no avail, and then all of a sudden the man accelerated through the parking lot, turned the car around, and ultimately headed to the front door of the Walmart. The officers were able to squeeze his car by gently driving their cruisers into the front and the rear of the man's car with the tires spinning and the engines revving and everything else. They ultimately used a tool to break into the door of the man's car and get the man out. He was tended to by EMS and taken to a local hospital. To me, it sounds like it's behavior common with diabetic shock, but I'll tell you, kudos to two quick-thinking cops. Lots of injuries were prevented right there. On the COVID front, the vaccines keep rolling out and Maryland Live is using their entertainment venue as a vaccination center for at least several months. They have the capacity to process 100 people per hour and it is handled by appointment only, which are doled out by the county health department. And another vaccination center is at Anne Arundel Community College. For vaccine info and appointments to find out when you're going to be scheduled, you want to go to aacounty.org slash COVID vax. This morning, Governor Hogan is going to head over to the district to attend the inauguration of President Biden, and his 2022 budget will head over to the General Assembly. The full document has not been released yet, but some highlights include $7.5 billion for K-12 education, significant stimulus and tax relief, infrastructure payments, and plenty of money for public safety and health. We will have to wait and see how the General Assembly reacts and also to see whether they veto that Curban Commission education bill or not. The Navy has announced that Colonel James J.P. McDonough will become the Naval Academy's 89th Commandant of Midshipmen. In the civilian world, that's the Dean of Students. McDonough is a 94 grad of the Academy. He is an artillery guy, currently on duty at the Pentagon, but with extensive tours in Afghanistan. The Commandant is a two-year gig, and he will be replacing Captain Thomas T.R. Buchanan later on this summer. I guess to be Commandant, you have to have a two-initial nickname. J.P. is taking over for T.R. And finally, if you missed it yesterday, check out that bonus pod with Damien Sinclair and Eric Catani about Athletes for the Arts. Eric is a Navy grad, MVP in the last Notre Dame game win, and played for the Patriots as well as the Washington football team. It's all about a streaming event at Maryland Hall next Wednesday, the 27th, about, well, athletes and the arts. There's a great online auction, and when you buy a ticket, you actually get a free year subscription to Maryland Hall. And Eric is the co-founder of a really cool company that will hand paint any image for you. If you ever find an old wedding photo of your grandparents and would love to see it as a really cool oil painting, his company can handle that. It's called paintru.com, P-A-I-N-T-R-U.com. And he was kind enough to give our listeners a 15% discount code. So you can go check it out and use the discount code A, the number 4A, which would be Athletes for Arts. I did check out the site and the prices are very, very reasonable. But more importantly, you want to make sure that you pick up a ticket to Athletes for the Arts on next Wednesday. All of that info, links to ticketing and links to the auction are all available at MarylandHall.org. Okay, that wraps up the news for us today. As always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family and colleagues all know about us. A quick thank you to our sponsors for this daily news brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and to the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long & Foster company. Hang tight, we do have George Young from DCMDVA Weather standing by with your locally forecast weather report. All that gets underway in just one minute after we hear from Rick Peters from 
Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services, with your Clean Energy Minute. Does your home experience power outages? Or maybe you're concerned about energy resilience in general. If so, that's another great reason to consider clean, quiet, solar-powered energy with battery backup. You may have heard residential solar adoption has rapidly increased during the pandemic for multiple reasons, and many homeowners, like yourself, are adding battery backup and electric vehicle charging to their solar projects. And with Maryland's residential energy storage income tax credit, along with the federal tax credit for batteries when paired with solar, the economics are quite compelling, and that secure feeling is even better. So whether you're looking for clean energy, energy resilience, or overall peace of mind with solar energy, we can help. To schedule a free solar design, call us today at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. But hurry, sunshine's a-wasting. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, January 20th. Yesterday brought more sunshine to the Annapolis region, and the sunny trend should continue today through the weekend. Though a few flurries or snow showers are possible this morning before skies clear late morning into the p.m. hours with temps today in the upper 30s to lower 40s for most. With gusty winds over 30 miles per hour at times, keeping wind chills in the 20s this morning and 30s much of the day for Inauguration Day 2021. Look for temps to rebound a bit tomorrow into the mid 40s to lower 50s in spots with lighter but still slightly breezy winds. Followed by a calmer day Friday with sunshine and highs in the 43 to 49 degree range ahead of a sunny but cold weekend with highs each day in the 36 to 42 degree range for most. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And use our website each day by visiting dcmdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. Life is a series of moves from new beginnings to new opportunities to a new place to call home. Hi, I'm Christy Neidhart. And as your goals and dreams change, my team and I will be there with you and for you, making buying or selling a home an easy, safe process. Whether you are looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, you can trust the Christy Neidhart team with our years of expertise to find exactly what you are looking for. That's another moving minute from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.